What is up, peeps? Welcome back to the channel. A community debate out there as a new FPS game does approach that will be free to play that we have talked about a lot over the past few months, and I'm sure you guys have heard about, that being X Defiant. The giant question to all of you guys at home, can this game somehow compete with Call of Duty? I'm not gonna, you know, go ahead and say this could kill Call of Duty, but given all the recent controversy around Activision and Call of Duty and decisions made by maybe some streamers into space, it's an interesting time to talk about could X Defiant be the next FPS game to actually take over or at least compete with the Call of Duty franchise. Let's go, chat. Let's get it, baby. Have some fun with it. Look what I'm doing right now. Oh, another gun. Oh my. Another one. This feels great. You're all. I got two. Oh my. Oh, the kill streak. I'm going crazy. I'm going next game mode. You knew it. And if you guys haven't seen it, there's been tons of gameplay out there. I've been sent some great gameplay out from the movement side of things. Um, movement kids have certainly loved this game, as if you guys played the closed beta, along with a million plus other players, it was viral at the time. I think it was actually, I was in California at the time at a hotel, and clips were just taking off with gameplay from pro players, streamers, creators, movement kids, all the like. And like I said, a million plus players to be playing their closed beta, their open beta is now starting up in just... I think what, like a week or so later in June, and it's expected to have, I have to imagine, millions of players yet again. A game also made and developed by tons of ex or current Call of Duty Pro players, like someone like Aix, who has brought in all of his buddies to at least try the game and give feedback, and that is why a lot of people have this game at the top of their list of could it compete with Call of Duty. And they've now also announced, alongside the closed beta, uh, the, of course, all of their seasons, their year-long plan, the game apparently expected to release later this summer. We'll, we'll see if it's ready for it. I mean, this this is crazy. It's certainly time to strike. It is The iron is hot when it comes for competing with Activision and the new Call of Duty title. This is gonna be awesome to see the two games going back and forth and to see what communities both games can actually build up and if both games can actually handle those communities. They also announced five different factions, so those are your characters in game with the different abilities. Uh, we have about two dozen weapons in the game alongside some other fun facts out there, but the giant question still remaining, can it do it? You know, we've been hoping for games to challenge Call of Duty for so long, and this one, I think the biggest reason to maybe think it could be possible, this game is free to play. Call of Duty, you're paying 60, 70 bucks a year to play, and honestly, the past four years, I just haven't enjoyed it, but that's just me. There have been great Call of Duties before, and there could be some in the future, but that's a big thing here. You are talking about millions and millions of more people who could be pay playing this game because it's free as opposed to Call of Duty with that little pay gap there. Now, someone in my chat also mentioned though, that could be a downside because free to play equals free to cheat. We'll see if the anti-cheat can actually keep up. I mean, even Call of Duty has had severe problems with cheating. So you have to imagine with a free to play game, those cheating issues will not be going anywhere anytime soon. At the very least though, I am super excited for this. It's about time we at least had a discussion around a new game alongside Call of Duty. And I think it's only best for both titles to be competing against each other. And I'm gonna keep on sharing gameplay because I enjoy the game. I'll see if I can actually hook onto it. Time to Kill was freaking mad fast. They definitely had their bugs and balance issues with weapons when I was playing, some one-shot weapons that didn't belong, but it was fun. And I did play, and I will continue to play, and maybe I'll give away some codes for the game when it comes out. I just said that, but it's a free-to-play game. So um, I'll catch you guys back in the next one. Connects to find compete with Call of Duty. Answer down below. I'll see you back here sometime soon. Take care.